guys! So I'm six weeks postpartum now. It's officially been six weeks and um, things have been going great. I had my six weeks, my six week um, checkup thing yesterday, so it was a day early. Uh, but I figured it was time for an update because I haven't updated in like two weeks or something. So yeah, um, not very much has changed. Um, I'll tell you what happened in my appointment. So uh, let's see, I went to my appointment and basically they asked me um, like how everything went at um, birth and everything, or at the delivery, and they're like, did you get the epidural, da da da, did you get this, did you get that, and like how much did she weigh, and all that fun stuff, well, that's what the nurse was asking, and um, then they did a pap smear, which was not fun, but expected, so that works, and he said my stitches are almost all the way dissolved, um, not quite there, but they're almost, and he said that's fine, so that's good, but still blah. Um, he said pretty much everything is good, but when he was doing my pap smear, he was like, um, he mentioned that I have a tilted uterus, and he said it can happen, um, from delivery, but it could have been like that before, he said he didn't really remember, he never really checked, and, um, basically what it is, how, um, how he explained it was, um, your uterus is usually, like, all, like, clumped like this, and he said mine is, like, out, like, backwards, so instead of being, like, forward, it's backwards. So, um, he said it's not a bad thing. They, people used to think that it was harder to get pregnant if you had a tilted uterus, but he said studies proven that that's not true, which is good. And, um, like he said, he doesn't know if it was like that before or if it happened from having a baby, but my aunt also had a tilted uterus, so I guess it kind of runs in our family, lucky us, and she had a hysterectomy from it. So, uh, but, um, he said basically the only thing that happens if you have a tilted uterus is sometimes when you have sex it'll hurt really bad because it's hitting like part of the uterus I guess not not like actually hitting the uterus but just from the way it's shaped it'll like be weird so I don't know I haven't done very much research on that yet but um that's basically that's the only thing that he said um is different about it but yeah um other than that he said pretty much everything is good and I'm not gonna get to see him for another year which is kind of weird because I've seen him for like every four weeks at the most, um, just for these, like, checkups and stuff, so it's like, oh, I'm gonna kind of miss him, and I told him next time I have a baby, I'm gonna go back to him, because he was such a good doctor, and I'm gonna miss him so much, but, oh well, I'm feeling pretty good, I mean, everything is, like, healing, and things are getting better, um, I don't really know what to say, <laughs> um, my stomach is still going down, um, and it still has a little bit to go, like, it's just not toned. But now that it's six weeks, I can finally start exercising, which is cool. And I'm probably just going to keep going on walks until I get, um, really upset with my body. And then I'll maybe start, like, actually working out. But for now, I'm just going to continue to go on walks and take care of a child, which surprisingly takes a lot of energy. So it's basically like an exercise routine, right? <laughs> so let's see, just a general... I'm trying to think of things to update on, because I really don't have much to update on. <laughs> um, we went to the lake the other day. It was just me and my whole family and Gabe and we all had so much fun and I finally and I went out like on a raft and because I've just been in this house for so long and it feels so good to get out because I don't know it's so hard to get out when you have a newborn you know you don't want to like you don't want to expose them to too many things or at least I don't really want to take him out to like places where she's gonna get germs you know so I finally went out and I um, went to the lake and it was so fun. Okay, let's see. About Lilia. She smiles all the time now. All the time. Like every morning. She's so... She loves um, morning time. She'll just wake up and she'll be like, I'm so happy today. She's just so happy and she coos. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. She always coos. She, uh, for those of you guys who um, were helping me with the bottle situation, she takes the bottle so well now. I think she just needed practice. Um, she likes the Nuke bottle and she likes the Breast Flow bottle. Those are the real. Those are really the only ones that we actually use. And we still practice pretty much every day. She'll get a bottle, and of pumped milk. And yeah, she's doing really well with that. She's still doing really well um, at night. She'll either she well she usually wakes up about two times a night. I got lucky a couple times when she slept through the night, but. And most of the time, she'll fall asleep around 10, 11, around there, and she'll sleep until about 4 o'clock, and then she'll wake up and she'll be like, Mom, I'm hungry, so I'll feed her, and 
then she goes back to sleep and then she usually wakes me up around six o'clock and she eats again and then um, she usually gets me up around 8 30. she's pretty much in all zero to three clothing and she's still in size one diapers and um oh something new this week we finally introduced the pacifier to her because i was waiting because i'm so I don't know, I was so afraid of nipple confusion for some reason. So we finally introduced the pacifier and she loves it. She loves it so much. She doesn't, okay, she won't take any um, of the like normal pacifiers, you know, the ones that'll like, here, let me show you. She won't take any of the ones that are like this. you know, like the normal kind, or she, she won't even take like, um, the straight ones. She'll only take the ones and we, we don't use the pink one because this one's supposed to be three months and up. So she uses the green one, but it's over, um, by where she is. And she loves these ones. These are the ones that she likes. She loves, loves them. And I think it's because this top, this part at the top, here, let me see. It's kind of more like an actual nipple because it doesn't go in, you know, because she has to, when she latches her, she opens her mouth wide. And so I think it's just, she's, it's like what she's used to, I guess, but uh, she loves it. And we use it for car rides. Well, that's a good one because sometimes she'll get fussy and she wants to be held. So we'll give her the pacifier and she's, she's done. And then also she wants, she's tired and she wants to, she wants like to comfort suck, you know, like. When I feed her, I have such a fast letdown that I feed her within, like, what is it, five, ten minutes. And um, sometimes after that, she just needs the satisfaction of sucking. And she doesn't want to suck, she doesn't want to suck on me anymore because she's not hungry anymore. So it's good for the pacifier for to just, like, finish off the sucking satisfaction that she needs. And then also we'll use it um, during her fussy time. That's what we call it, her fussy time. I'm starting to think that she has colic because around um I looked up like the symptoms of exactly what colic is and it says usually it starts about um, around a month old which that's about when it started it was about four weeks when, when um it actually hit and it'll happen around the same time every single day and it always happens around five or six and it goes till about 8 30 so uh, and she'll be fed and she'll have a clean diaper and there, there'll be nothing wrong and she just cries and cries and cries and cries and there's nothing we can do so and um, lately we've been using the pacifier during that time and it does help a little bit but she is still really fussy so um yeah I'm I'm think I'm gonna officially call her colicky <laughs> but during the rest of the day she's fine it's just that that evening period where she gets really really fussy so that's not fun she loves baths oh, every single I don't think I think she's cried during one bath and it was during her fussy time but uh, she was fussing and fussing and fussing and then we finally we put her in the bathtub and she was like totally chill she was like I'm liking this but then towards the end she got fussy again so she loves her baths she just loves them and she is so chunky you guys can probably tell from the videos that I post She's so huge and it's so cute. I cannot wait to see how much she weighs at her two month appointment, which is August 18th, I think. Yeah, August 18th. So I cannot wait until, I can't wait to see how big she is. I'm so excited for that. So I'll definitely be updating after that appointment. Um, breastfeeding is going really well. Um, she's still amazing at it. She's just such a pro. And pumping, I pump. I tr I'm going to try to start pumping every single day. I've been pumping every couple days right now because I need to start stocking up. But I will pump. Um, it varies how much I'll pump. Usually I'll pump about um, an ounce and a half in like 10 minutes or so. But like, okay, the other day I pumped four and a half ounces. Four and a half. That's almost five ounces. It, and it was in like, I think it was about 20 minutes. I pumped four and a half ounces. Man, I was like, wow, I didn't even know that my boob could hold that much. It was crazy. And if you guys know a way, like, I'm so curious as to how much she eats each feeding. Because usually when we give her the bottle, we'll just give her one or two ounces just to practice with. But it's so hard to tell. Is there a way that you can tell how much they're getting with breastfeeding? Because I know with formula, you can measure it out and do all that stuff. But with breastfeeding, I'm just so curious as to how much she's eating. And I don't think there's a way to do it. So if you know a way, then let me know. Um, she holds her head up so well like you you guys can see in the video that I just posted that she'll hold her head up 
and she'll just keep it up for days. She's just so good at it. Um, so that's good. She's starting to get the neck muscles. But yeah, other than that, um, I don't think there's much to update on. Oh, I do want to give a shout out to Alexa and Charlie. Their baby girl is in the hospital and she's not up to the right weight yet to be released from the hospital. She is gaining weight, so that's so good. So I just wanted to give a shout out to you and to let you know that I am praying for her. So I hope she gets to go home soon. Yeah, okay, well, um, that's like all I can think of. <laughs> I'm so lame. Um, I really want to try to start updating more, doing more of these videos because I know you guys, a lot of you guys are like, I miss seeing the videos where you're talking. And I just don't really have much to, like, say anymore. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I kind of miss talking to a camera. It was really fun. <laughs> so I guess I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to start doing more of those kind of videos. But also it's kind of hard because I have to do it pretty much when she's sleeping. Because if she's not sleeping, then she wants to be played with. Or um, she's fussy. Or she wants tea. I can do it when she eats. But she, again, she only eats for, like, five minutes. So I don't know. I'll have to find more time to do some updates and... Yeah. Okay, I've gotten so, so, so much stuff in the P.O. box, guys. Like, so much. And I just want to give a big thank you to everyone. And I'm really trying, I'm going to try to get, um, I'm going to try to make a P.O. box video. Just of, like, all the stuff that people have gotten me. Because I feel like it's not fair that the people who got it before it was in the video. And I really want to make a video. So I'm going to try to put that together. It's just that I got a new laptop. And so I have half my videos on one laptop and half my videos on the other laptop. So... I'm going to have to find a way to, like, mash them together. Lily is asleep right now, so I'm really bored. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Um, I'm going to show you guys my six-week postpartum belly. So let me go ahead and do that. Side. Front. And then my stretch mark, and you can still kind of see the line. Stretch marks. Okay, well, um, that's pretty much all that I have to say. So I'm gonna update again, hopefully. Uh, if not sooner, then um, at her two-month appointment, um, or after her two-month two -month appointment. So, yeah. Mm. If you guys have any questions, then uh, if you guys have any questions, then feel free to ask. And if not, then... Sorry, I'm feeding her now because she woke up. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions, then let me know. And if not, then I'll talk to you guys for... I don't know, my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.